Violent scenes were witnessed in states of Batadrava when a mob took the law in their own hands, gheraud a police station and beat up the police personnel on duty following the death of fish seller who was in custody. Well, as you can see on your screens, the irate mob thrashed the police personnel on duty, poured fuel in the station premises and set it ablaze. So this is a big story at this point in time, viewers. Violent scenes were witnessed in Assam's Abhatadrava when a mob of 2,000 people took the law in their own hands, gheraud a police station and beat up the police personnel on duty following the death of fish seller who was in custody. And as you can see on your screens, the irate mob thrashed the police personnel on duty, poured fuel in the station premises and set it ablaze. Well, two women had reportedly taken the initiative to set the police station ablaze. One of the women was even seen carrying a bottle filled with petrol and pouring it across the police station while the other women set it on fire. Well, both the women were helped by the mob. A large section of the people premise, police premises, including its armory, were reduced to ashes. It may be mentioned here that fish seller identified as Safikul Islam was reportedly picked up by a team of a Batadrava police in a drug state last night. Well, he was later taken to a nearby health centre for a medical checkup and brought to the police station. However, Safikul passed away after his health condition deteriorated. It may be mentioned here that earlier there were allegations by the locals that police had demanded rupees 10,000 cash from Safikul. However, when he refused to oblige, the police allegedly beat him up and arrested him. They further alleged Safikul died of torture by police personnel. So these are the violent scenes uh, that witnessed in Assam's Batadrava. And as you can see on your screens, the irate mob thrashed the police personnel on duty, poured fuel in the station premises and set it ablaze. Well, two women have reportedly taken the initiative to set the police station ablaze. Uh, one of the women, as you can see on your screens, one of the women was even seen carrying a bottle filled with petrol and pouring it across the police station while the other women set it on fire. And both the women were helped by the mob. A large section of the police premises including its armory, were reduced to ashes. It may be mentioned here that fish seller identified as Safikul Islam was reportedly picked up by a team of Batadraba police in a drugged state last night. And he was later taken to a nearby health centre for a medical checkup and brought to the station. However, Safikul passed away after his health condition deteriorated. It may be mentioned here that earlier there were allegations by the locals that the police had demanded rupees 10,000 cash from Safikul. However, when he refused to oblige, the police allegedly beat him up and arrested him. They further alleged that Safikul died of torture by police personnel. And our Chief of Bureau, Arindam Das, spoke to Nogao SP Lina Dole to know more on the matter. Well, speaking to North East Live, Lina Dole informed that about three to five persons have received injury in the incident, while three others have been arrested so far in connection to the case. Well, she added that the police is looking into the case thoroughly. We are joined in by Nogao SP Lina Dole. Well, today there was an untoward incident which happened in Botadraba. Can you please brief us exactly what had transpired? Uh, last time there was a report of one person in intoxicated state lying on, on a road. So the OC had picked him up and kept him in the police station and his family members were informed. In the morning, the family members came and gave him water and food to eat. And after that, uh, the person uh, said that he was not feeling well. So he was taken to the PHC nearby, from where he was referred to the Nagaon hospital. And at the hospital, uh, the doctor uh, informed that he is dead. 
and after that there was uh, a reaction from the relatives of the deceased person and they had to come to the police station and get out the police station and soon after they attacked the policeman on duty there and also set fire to the uh, police station building house how many police personnel got injured in this incident uh right now uh, uh, more or less three four people have been injured uh you to see uh, two people two persons have a little bit more injuries and we have already arrested three persons who are uh, seen uh, involved in this incident approximately what was the crowd who attacked the police station from by standard uh, by standards we uh, hear that it must have been around 400 500 people okay so we have not very confirmed and uh, once we uh, take statements from our police uh, personnel on duty at that time we will be confirmed about the numbers so there are allegations that uh, something uh, foul play might have taken place the uh, police uh, demanding money so are you also looking into that aspect yes yes we look into any uh, any issue of complaint against anyone So if there are some faulty involved, we will look into it definitely, and we we'll take action according to that. We we'll also take action against the, all the miscreants who are involved in attacking the police. So at the moment, how are you going ahead with the investigation, and what action has been taken so far? Uh, so far, we have arrested three persons, and we are in the process of identifying the rest of the persons who were involved, and we will be picking them up soon. Thank you very much. All right. To get more details on the entire development, we'll be joined by our chief of bureau Arindam Das live to give us the latest on this uh, big story. Well, Arindam, as the violent scenes were witnessed in Assam's Badrawa, so what transpired the entire event? Can you please brief us? Yes, an untoward incident unfolded at Botodroba in Nogao district of uh, Assam, where a police station was set ablaze by a mob of around 500 people. The flashpoint was the death of a person in police custody. Now uh, there are two versions to this story. One is from the police side, and the other is from the uh, irate mob, who have raised allegations uh, that uh, the person died in police custody, and there was some demand of money by. the police personnel uh, from this person so this uh, according to the police version uh, last night uh, one person was uh, found in an intoxicated uh, uh, position uh, lying on a road and he was uh, then taken to the botodroba police station by the oco botodroba police station and he was kept there for the whole night in fact the police informed the family members uh, uh, last night that he has been picked up and the for today morning the family members went to the police station and according to police he was offered food and water by the family members uh, but after some time uh, the person in police custody he complained of uh, medical conditions uh, he said that he was not feeling well and, and at that time he was uh, taken to an fru uh, in that area but the fru said that uh, he has to be referred to nogao civil hospital so he was referred to nogao civil hospital where the doctors declared him brought dead now he, the death of this person's news has spread like wildfire in botodroba when immediately around uh, 500 people gathered the botodroba police station and they set ablaze the police station apart from assaulting police personnel uh, according to police three police personnel sustained injuries two of them have sustained serious injuries uh, and uh, also the police station was set on fire right. uh, now the uh, uh, point of version by the irate mob is that uh, the person was picked up uh, and was demanded money by the police and he died in police custody so uh, right now police is investigating the matter so far three people have been arrested uh, who have set ablaze the police station and uh, police is uh, investigating the matter and uh, is on the lookout for more people who were in involved in this arson incident Absolutely Arindam as investigation is on and locals have also alleged of a foul play in the entire incident so uh, of course the police is also going to look into that matter as well Yes uh, I have specifically asked the SP of Nogao Lina Dole that uh, there are allegations that uh, foul play might have taken place uh, uh, the uh, police uh, have also demanded 
uh, money from this person who was uh, 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 who died in police custody. So all those aspects will be investigated uh, investigated by the police. But right now the focus is on nabbing all the people who were in involved in assaulting the police personnel and also uh, setting on fire the police station. So right now police is going through various uh, uh, footages, uh, whether they be uh, from mobile footages or even they are taking help from the media people who were present there from their cameras. So they are trying to identify each and every person who was involved in this uh, 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 violent incident and nab them as soon as possible. All right. Thank you, Arindam, for giving us those details at this point in time. So, indeed, a big development there as a violent scenes were witnessed in Assam's Abadatrava when a mob of 2,000 people took the law in their own hands, gherraud the police station and beat up the police personnel on duty following the death of fish seller who was in custody.